You're not gonna wanna miss this. Hey you guys, welcome back to See Mini Mom. And if you are just stumbling upon my channel, I am so glad that you are joining me in my kitchen today. I am going to be sharing with you some really easy, very inexpensive ideas for snacks and treats that you can make this holiday season. So stay tuned. I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. If you are new here, or even if you aren't and you just haven't done this yet, I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and also click the little notification bells so that you can know when new videos are going up on my channel. Today, I am throwing together some really quick, inexpensive snacks and treats. I'm talking about the kind of stuff that this time of year usually sits in a tin or in a basket or a bucket, something that we can kind of snack on throughout the day or at a holiday gathering. My mom actually has an entire table in her house, her little breakfast nook table that when we gather for the holidays, that's what it's dedicated to. All of the little snacks and treats and just little nibbles and bites of things that we can sort of test out throughout the day and munch on while we were waiting on that great Christmas dinner. What I thought I would do is show you some of these types of things that are not only really easy that come together very quickly, but that are also really cost efficient that don't cost very much to make. So I'm going to show you what I'm making and then I'm going to tell you how much the ingredients cost me. And even though I know that prices vary from place to place, I hope that this gives you some ideas of some inexpensive snacks or treats that you can make for yourself, for your family, or to give away as gifts. This first recipe is so simple and easy. It is for a roasted ranch pretzel. And these are the ingredients right here, a one pound bag of pretzels. I opted for the sticks. You could use the twists if you want to, or you could get festive and pick up some of those pretzels that are shaped like Christmas trees and bells and snowflakes. One stick or eight tablespoons or half a cup of butter and one package of ranch dressing mix. All I am going to do is melt the butter and combine that with the ranch seasoning, give that a stir. I'm going to pour it over the top of the pretzels and toss them to coat and then put them in this roasting pan. I will put that in the oven at 200, a low roasting temperature, 200, and I will let those roast for about an hour and I will stir them about every 15 minutes. Whenever I'm making something like this, I like to use one of these little sieves to sort of strain all of the little bitty crumbs and salt and stuff like that. You know, the stuff that looks like pretzel dust at the bottom of the bag, same with cereal boxes whenever I'm making Chex Mix, because that stuff soaks up a lot of the butter and seasoning and that's not the stuff that we eat. So I wanna make sure that I get all of that out of there before I top it with the butter and the ranch seasoning. See all that stuff that was at the bottom of the bag? I like don't want that to soak up all the butter that I'm about to put on it. The next one is also a really easy, short ingredient list, savory cracker snack. This is sort of like a version of the Alabama firecrackers. If you've ever had firecrackers, those are really good. I simplified it even more. All I need is a box of saltine crackers. We're going to use all four sleeves, and I will do the same thing with the crackers that I do with the pretzels and with any other kind of ingredient for these snacks that might have crumbs. I wanna make sure I only get the crackers and not the crumbs. I have one package of ranch, one package, package of taco seasoning and one cup of oil and you can use almost any kind of oil I'm just using vegetable oil you can also use olive oil for this recipe this does not require any baking so you don't need to have anything that bakes well um, it's just whatever kind of oil you prefer you could probably also use butter I think vegetable oil works the best for this recipe you will also need a two gallon ziploc bag this is a big one this is not a gallon size this is a two gallon ziploc bag I had to fish this one out from the back 
back of the uh, Ziploc bag drawer where I keep all of the bags and wax paper and foil and stuff like that. So that's why it's a little wrinkled, but you want a big Ziploc, not the sandwich, not the quart, not the gallon, two gallon Ziploc bag. So after I open the packages of crackers, separate the crumbs out, I will put the crackers in the bag. I will mix my ranch and taco seasoning with my oil. I will pour that over the top and give it a really good shake. I wanna make sure that it's sealed tightly, that my Ziploc bag is sealed tightly, and I will try to make sure that all of that yummy flavoring gets evenly coated over the crackers. And then I just set them in the Ziploc bag, laying on the counter, and every hour or so, I come and I flip that bag over. And you wanna do that a few times over the course of a few hours to make sure that all of the crackers get coated. But then I just put them into an airtight container with a paper towel at the bottom, and they are ready to go. They're ready to eat. You don't have to cook or bake these. This next one might seem like an odd combination, but I promise you it is delicious. It is butter popcorn and almond bar. Now, if you wanted to, you could use some of this Chester's butter puff corn instead of the butter popcorn. This is a more cost-effective option for making this snack. I have seen this at my Aldi as well in their brand, but all you need to do is pop your popcorn and you want butter popcorn, and you will need about three to four blocks of almond bark for each bag of popcorn that you're popping. But all I do is pop my popcorn and put it in a bowl, and then I melt my almond bark. You wanna be careful when you're working with almond bark or any kind of like melting chips or candy chips. In my experience, it's easy to scald and it will actually melt and then like harden up again if we cook it too long. So just make sure that you're only heating this in the microwave at 30 second increments, giving it a stir until it is almost melted. That's my trick. When it is almost melted, I will actually just take it out and keep stirring it and the heat from the microwave safe glass container that I am melting it in will actually help it finish the melting process. And then all you do is just pour it over the top of the popcorn and make sure the popcorn is evenly coated. I'm going to take it just a step further and make it a little more festive by crushing a few of these candy canes up. I'm just gonna put them in like a Ziploc bag and take my rolling pin to them and crush them up so that I can sprinkle that onto the butter popcorn after I have put the almond bark on top. The combination of the sweet and salty and the almond bark and the buttery popcorn it's so delicious. Another trick I will use to help with coating the popcorn evenly is to use a brown paper sack like this. I will just, after I've popped the popcorn, I will make sure that I'm only putting the popcorn in here. I don't want any of the kernels. And I will put the popped popcorn in the bag and then I will pour the melted almond bark over the top and give it a really good shake. And I find that that really helps to coat everything pretty evenly. This method also makes for easy cleanup because I can just spread this out on the wax paper to cool and then I can just toss this bag in the trash. Yay! All right, this is the fun part. You're not gonna wanna miss this. So don't skip ahead. I am giving away four $50 Amazon e-gift cards to four lucky winners who leave me a comment on this video. To enter the giveaway, you need to be 18 years old and you need to leave me a comment below with either a Christmas tree emoji or if you don't use emojis, you can just use the words happy holidays or Merry Christmas somewhere in your comment and I will know that you are entering the giveaway. This giveaway will be open for just three days. That's 72 hours from the time this video posts until the time the giveaway closes. At that time, I will use a website that has a random comment selector and it will randomly select four comments and I will come back and leave a response on those comments to let you know that you are the winner so that you can email me 
at cminimom at yahoo.com and let me know what email I can send you your Amazon $50 digital gift card to. I purposely did not put this in the title or the thumbnail or mention it at the beginning because I want these gift cards to go to you, the viewers who continue to watch and support my channel. Remember, leave a comment below with the Christmas tree emoji or with happy holidays or Merry Christmas. You need to do so within three days of this video going up and make sure that if I respond to your comment three days later, letting you know that you're the winner that you follow through with emailing me so I know where to send you your $50 Amazon gift card. All right, let's get back to the snack making. There is a particular Christmas treat that is made from rice checks, peanut butter, and semi-sweet chocolate chips, and then tossed in powdered sugar. What do you guys call that? We call it puppy chow. I know some people call it muddy buddies. They'd be wrong. It's puppy chow. <laughs> Just kidding. But that is one of my favorite Christmas treats. It's one of my son's favorites as well. But I know there are a lot of people who can't partake of that because they have a peanut allergy. And we actually have some people in our family. I have some nieces and nephews who can't have that because they can't have peanut butter. So I really wanted to show you a version of this that does not use peanut butter because it might be something that is more friendly to people who suffer from those kinds of allergies. Of course, if you do or someone you know does, you know to check your packages and double check and make sure but this is something that I have made in the past that does not use peanut butter but is kind of a similar thing to puppy chow. It's a fun fetty puppy chow. There are only four ingredients, six cups of rice checks or the generic brand cereal, six blocks of almond bark and even though almond bark is called almond bark it actually doesn't have almonds in it. Did you guys know that? Half a cup of powdered sugar and half a cup of a fun fetty or generic brand fun fetty cake mix. So I will melt the almond bark in the microwave. I will coat the rice checks with it. And then you toss it with the powdered sugar and cake mix blend. And for this, I will also use the paper bag method because I really don't like having to clean almond bark off of my <laughs> bowls and utensils. If you want to, you can add some sprinkles. You can make it a little bit more festive, but that's basically it. Super easy and very tasty. I hope that's helpful and gives you some ideas. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite holiday snacks and treats are, or if you have ideas for inexpensive or really easy snacks and treats that we can make this time of year. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.